Hello world, it's me, Jamung Bai. Two episodes ago, I kicked things off by building the Blue Bomber Mega Man. Today's episode, I'm siding with Dr. Wily, and I'm building one of the evil master robots from Mega Man 1, Cut Man. This is the Nanoblock Cut Man. Weighing in at 220 pieces and standing at a 2 out of 5 difficulty, this set not only includes Cutman, but also Bun B. Heli as well. Everything you see right here is what's included inside the box. And when it's all finished, it will look like this. Ah ah ah. Let's build up! Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, let's take a look at Cut Man and this little annoying piece of sh**. Just like Mega Man, this is another awesome set of models here. It sucks that the ride had to be cut short with the loss of a few models from its previous incarnation. Regardless, I'm just grateful for the experience. 
Now that I've built Cutman, there's something that I wish that could have been done with Mega Man, but I'll get to that in a bit. Building Cutman was a very similar process to building Mega Man, but I'd also say it was a little bit simpler. I can only recall one point of interest to pay close attention to, and that's making sure that you line these 2x1 blocks in the right spot before attaching them to the base of the head. And Bun B has an area where you stack a couple of 1x1 blocks underneath a 3x1. These points of interest aren't anything difficult, just make sure that you're paying attention to the block placement. I really love how Cutman turned out. I've always thought that Cutman was orange, but the description on a Mega Man fandom page says that he's actually crimson. I believe Bumby's color is more accurate to the illustrations that I've seen. I really hate this character, but I can't help but love the presentation here. It seems like it's actually intentional, but like Mega Man, Cutman also has the foot off the edge thing going on here. I'd like to believe that it's a nod to the game, but I could be wrong. Cutman is equipped with his signature rolling cutter weapon. Normally it sits on top of his head, but it can also be removed and attached to this clear stand. The instructions tell you to make sure that you slightly tilt the rolling cutter on the stand, so that way that you can give off the effect that Cutman is throwing it at Mega Man. Maybe it wasn't necessary for Kawada, but Bun B sits as you see right here. I know that it hovers, so I created a stand using some clear blocks that I have from my spare collection. In my opinion, it just looks better like this. Just like Mega Man, Cutman also came in a 25th anniversary collection which included more models to build. I found a couple of listings on eBay and the prices weren't nearly as bad as Mega Man's. At least not the one for $32. The other listing was asking for $60. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to pay that much. With Cutman built, there's something that I wish would have been considered, and that's facing Mega Man to the right rather than the left. Any Mega Man title that I've played in the past, Mega Man will always enter the boss's room from the left, and the Master Robot will be on the right side of the screen. Here I have two Mega Man 8-bit figures, and these poses are likely the inspiration behind the Nanoblock models. As you can see, Mega Man is facing the right, and Cutman is facing the left. This clearly looks like a versus match, but when you look at the Nanoblock versions, it just looks like Cutman is a victim of a sneak attack. <laughs> I won. Cutman stands at three and a quarter inches tall with his rolling cutter attached. Without it, he stands evenly with Mega Man at two and a half inches tall. Meanwhile, Bunby stands at an inch and a quarter tall thanks to his propeller, but without it, he stands evenly at an inch tall alongside the energy tank. This set was definitely worth the time, and I'm happy that something that I anticipated turned out to be this amazing, and I mean that for both sets that I've built. The ride could have gone a bit longer for sure, had it not been for the lack of additional models like the old set. And I definitely wish that Mega Man was actually facing in the right direction, just for the sake of displaying them together. Despite all of that, I hope that there will be more Nanoblock Mega Man characters to build in the future, because I love the Mega Man series, and I would love to build more of it. And that's it for today's episode of Jamang by Builds. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching. If you're new around here, I hope you decide to stick around because there's more on the way. I'll catch you guys in the next episode, but in the meantime, keep on building. Peace!